Hello, have you thought about getting an FUE hair transplant but are worried that it might not turn out well? You might have seen some photos on the internet of some really bad results and you're scared that this could happen to you. I'm Dr. Aniket Venkatram from the Venkat Center Bangalore and today we will talk about five things that need to be done during your FUE hair transplant for you to have a good result. Now, to begin, what is FUE? FUE stands for follicular unit extraction. It is the most popular method of hair transplantation available today. The earlier method of hair transplantation consisted of removing a strip of skin from the back of your head and stitching up that area, which meant that you had a thin scar in the back of your head. Now obviously people didn't like the idea of this scar even though if done correctly it is almost invisible. So then came the new method of FUE. In FUE what is done is instead of removing one big piece of skin with all the, your hair grafts, the hair grafts are taken out individually one by one by making small small holes. So these holes heal like pinpricks. So there is no big scar for you to be concerned about. Obviously the reason that there is no scar is why this surgery is so popular and why it's the dominant method of hair transplantation done today. Earlier almost 80% of hair transplants were done by FUT but now 80% are done by FUE. FUE earlier apart from the benefit of having no scar there were some disadvantages. One was that it was a little bit more difficult to do. The instruments weren't so good. Another was that while removing them there was a high rate of transaction. A lot of grafts were getting damaged. This is why earlier on this wasn't so popular. But now this has changed. You have very nice instruments and you can do the surgery with almost causing no transaction and it can be done almost as quickly as an FUT. Despite all this, there are some ways that this surgery can go wrong. Some of the ways include that the grafts might not be harvested properly so you don't get a result. They might have been cut or transected when they were being harvested. Another big problem is that you might have a bad donor area. What this means is the whole point of the FUE surgery is to avoid having that thin line for you to have no scar. But if, you, if it's not done correctly, you can have multiple scars all over the place which can look far worse than an FUT surgery. So how can you avoid this? How can you have a good FUE surgery? Let us look at five ways. Firstly, respect the safe area. The safe area or the safe donor area is that area of the scalp from which you can harvest grafts safely. What do you mean by safely? It means that these grafts aren't going to fall in the future. For someone who's balding a lot, there is a certain area where the hairs are permanent. If you go above or below that, those hairs can also fall. So you need to only harvest from the safe area. The second important point is not to over harvest. If you take too much from the safe area, then you can make that area look empty. Generally, the rule of thumb is you have can take one in every four grafts. If you take more than this, then this donor area appears empty. And when it appears empty, you can have these kind of pockmark scars all over the place, which looks far worse than any FUT scar. The third important thing is to plan for the future. What does this mean? It means that you need to know how much you can harvest from your safe area properly. It might be enough for this surgery, but if there's a chance that you might require an FUT in the future, then it might not be enough. So this means that you need to plan whether it's a better idea to do FUE only or do FUT and FUE combined. Remember that if you do too much by FUE, then one of two things can happen. Either you're go going beyond the safe area, in which case some of the grafts are going to fall in the future and it's a waste of money, or you're taking too much from the safe area, in which case you're going to have a lot of scar. So always plan for not just for this surgery, but also all surgeries in the future. This might mean combining FUT and FUE, or it might mean combining FUE from the scalp with the FUE from the beard and the chest hair. The fourth important point is to make sure that the grafts are harvested properly. When we're harvesting, there are two things we look at. One is we want the graft to be viable, which means that it should survive. So it should not be cut when it is being removed. For this, the skill of your hair transplant surgeon is very, very important. The other thing is we don't want to give too much scarring. So the size of the punch that we use to harvest the grafts must be as small as possible. 
In our center, we use punch sizes of 0.8 millimeters, which is very, very small. And our transaction rate is around 1%, which is very, very low. This is comparable with FUT. So this is the fourth important thing. And finally, the fifth important thing for your FUE hair transplant is treat the grafts properly once you have harvested them. What this means is, it means three things. One, you need to clean them and make sure that you remove any extra skin. If you don't remove that extra skin, you can get what is known as cobblestoning. The second point is the graft shouldn't spend too much time outside the body. You want them to go back into the body as soon as possible. So this is the balance you have to maintain where you are trimming the grafts and putting it back into the body as soon as possible. In our procedure, we do something called immediate hair transplant where they are taken out, trimmed and put back in almost immediately. We don't do the entire FUE harvest in one shot. We take some, put some, take some, put some. This is what enables the grafts to be the most viable. And finally, the grafts have to be implanted properly so that they survive. Implanted properly means once it has to be designed naturally so that you have a natural looking result. And second, all the grafts should survive. For this to survive, each graft has to get blood supply, which means that in a given area, there is a certain number of grafts that you can implant, which can get blood supply and grow. You can plug in more grafts and fill up the area, but if they don't get blood supply and they don't grow, then what is the point? The beauty of FUE is that it has made this procedure very, very easy. It can be done under daycare and anesthesia. You go home immediately. But the bad side is that it also means that there are a lot of untrained people trying to do this surgery. now. They don't do the surgery properly, which is why we've been seeing instances where the donor area is very, very bad and the patient hasn't gotten a good result. Either they've not gotten a result at all or the result looks very weird. Remember that if the first surgery doesn't go well, it's not just that you haven't gotten the result, but the donor area is also being compromised. Doing a second surgery becomes tougher, which is why it's important to follow these five things to make sure that you have a good FUE hair transplant. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, do feel free to share and also subscribe to our channel for more future such videos. If you have any queries, do get in touch with us. Our information is in the description below. Thank you so much.